All right, guys, we're back out here today with the uh, AR pistol. We've got it set up with the 22 conversion. And what we have down here is uh, a random assortment of metal animals set up at different distances from roughly 10 yards down to 65 yards. And then down at the very end, we have a silhouette at roughly 75, 80 yards. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. And what we're going to do is take the AR pistol, set up on the 22, and try and dispatch of those uh, of those animals, starting at the 10 yard and working all the way out to 60. I've got 20 rounds in the gun, and uh, we'll see what we can do here. We're going to use a rest. It's a uh, bipod rest. So I'm standing with a bipod. And that'll take uh, some of the human element out of it. So, again, we're going to start here with the uh, 10, 10 uh, yard. I don't know what each one of these distances is, but I'm going to go out gradually. That's 60 yards, so... Again, ran flawless, no jams. No jams, and uh, when the gun is steadied by one of these guys, when the gun is steadied, it, uh, it's accurate. Accurate enough to get game. I think this is a good option for someone that wants to go really, really lightweight, bug out, have the ability to get game. You could throw one of the 22 uh, long rifle mags, uh, holds 25 rounds, and then uh, the bolt carrier group, and take your one AR pistol or, or AR carbine, and you'd be able to shoot 223, 556, five, and then switch over to 22 long rifle. Uh, I think it's a good option. I think this proves that it can, it can uh, hit what you need to hit as long as you're stable. Thanks, guys.